So we need to talk about this guy. We need to talk about this guy. This is Randall Lopez. And Randall Lopez, well, there's a couple articles. This article says that he's accused of kidnapping and murder. But he was able to get out of jail. Because the DA said that the witnesses will not testify. So that's, you know, hey, Randall Lopez. Hey, Randall Lopez, how, how are you going to get away with your crime? How are you going to get away with your crimes? You're going to intimidate the witnesses to shut the hell up? That's what he did. He intimidated the witnesses. Did the DA protect the witness? Has Have we heard from the witness? Is the witness still okay? Is the witness alive and well? This is written by Phaedra Haywood. A Santa Fe man accused of murder and kidnapping was released Friday after prosecutors dismissed the second of two cases against him because of a lack of witness cooperation. I'm very disappointed that the victim did not show up, but when that happens and we have no other witnesses, we cannot proceed with the case. That's bullshit. The prosecutor can, on his own discretion, charge people with crimes. We have no other witnesses. We cannot proceed with the case. Did the DA, did somebody get to Marcy Carmack Altwees? Marcy Carmack Altwees is the one that wrote about that. They can't proceed since there's no other witnesses. Why didn't you get the testimony of the witness right away? Why didn't you get the deposition of the witness right away? Why didn't you have a preliminary hearing so that you would preserve the damn evidence as soon as it happened? You have no other witnesses. You should have just got them to write the damn thing down and then just, you know, push the charges based upon that which they had testified from before. So that's Randall Lopez, right? Hey, I'm Randall Lopez, and uh, I uh, do big crimes, and uh, America lets me. America lets me get away with big major crimes without a jury trial or nothing. When you have no police protection, when you have no police protection, the bloods and the crips. I mean, this is bloods and crips shit, right? This is some Casa Nostra shit. When you have no police protection, it makes sense to, you know, to organize yourself. I, I think that we should organize ourselves in a legal Citizen Justice, Justice Brigade. Citizen's arrest is allowed in Colorado. So January 2021, so one year ago, Frank Pete, Randall Lopez, 32 years old of Santa Fe, killed Frank Pete at Los Palamos Apartments on Hopewell Street. Allegedly. Then he was charged with first-degree murder. Prosecutors dismissed the case in May with the potential to refile it after they were unable to find a key witness and then determined that other witnesses were apprehensive or uncooperative. How many goddamn witnesses witnessed Randall Lopez shooting and killing Frank Pete at Los Palamos Apartments on Hopewell Street January 2021 last year? How many people... Saw Randall Lopez do it. And then one year later, Jesus Christ, well, I don't know where the witnesses are. You Did you put them in witness protection? What the fuck? Why would anybody risk their goddamn neck just so the DA could drop the ball like this? Last month, police arrested Lopez again following an hours-long standoff outside the apartment complex based on allegations. He kidnapped and pistol-whipped a man who came to buy drugs. So when they went to arrest him, he's holed himself inside the apartment complex for hours. State District Judge T. Glenn Ellington on Thursday granted the state's request for Lopez to be held without bond until his trial, finding no conditions of release, could protect the community from Lopez, in particular the alleged victim. But the judge ordered Lopez released from custody Friday following a preliminary hearing in which the assistant district attorney Morgan Wood dismissed his charges. Who the fuck is Morgan Wood? Is the DA office not paying you enough? He didn't take a bribe. I hope he didn't take no bribe. 
Or maybe he got intimidated. I hope that's not the case. Because why would a district attorney kidnapping, armed robbery, aggravated battery with a deadly weapon, being a felon in possession of a firearm? And then there's the, you know, first degree motherfucking murder. Basically, if you were to say, what are the accusations, the worst things you could think of? Without a witness, obviously, we're... We aren't prepared to go forward with this case. We will be dismissing pending speaking with the victim again. Lopez's attorney, Michael Jones, <laughs> such a snake, but I guess he's a good lawyer maybe. I don't know. Michael Jones, he says he's glad to get his client out. People can tell the police whatever they want, but they got to be willing to step forward and be responsible just like anything else. It's true they do have to go to court and testify what they saw. He added, this is why crime has gotten so out of control. People are calling about stuff that probably isn't true half the time. <laughs> the man who reported being kidnapped arrived bloody and beaten October 30th at an all sups on St. Michael's Drive. This is a different thing, right? Man goes to buy drugs and he beats him, pistol whips him. This is, you know, he, uh, what, the first degree murder was uh, when he shot and killed Frank Pete, right? At the Los Palamos Apartments on Hopewell Street. In January 2021. Allegedly. So the man gone to the apartment. They stole his phone, his tennis shoes. They held him at gunpoint. They asked him to bring money to the apartment. Leave it outside the door. After threatening to kill him. His assailants cut off the zip ties. And directed him to walk out of the apartment complex. Towards Sonic on St. Michael's and 6th Street, but instead he ran to the nearby All Sups and called police. The man said he loaned his car to Lopez's sister a few days earlier, but she hadn't returned it. He had heard she'd been arrested in the car. <clears throat> he added Lopez told him the attack was because he'd gotten the sister in trouble and because Lopez has cancer. He barricaded himself with a knife, refused to come out. He said he only had three months to live. He wasn't going to go to jail. Then they flushed him out with tear gas. Santa Fe Police Lieutenant David Webb said. Prosecutor Kent Walquist. How many prosecutors do you have? How many prosecutors do you need to not do a damn prosecution? Can they screw in a light bulb? How many prosecutors do you need to screw in a light bulb in Santa Fe? 100,000 of them? What do you call a thousand lawyers at the bottom of the ocean? A good start. A good start. The case in which Lopez was charged with murder, murder also occurred at the apartment complex. <laughs> so, he, shooting people, pistol whipping people. Hell, this is the damn mayor, right? This is the damn mayor right here. Who's the mayor of Santa Fe? Randall Lopez. He can do whatever the hell he wants to do. He can do whatever the hell he wants to do. Whatever crimes he can come up with. Ain't nobody stopping him. Witnesses had told investigators Frank Pete, 50 years old of Arizona, so they killed some guy from Arizona, had arrived to sell drugs to Lopez, his sister, and another man. Lopez waited outside during the deal and then accosted Pete in the parking lot, stealing his backpack and shooting him twice. Police allege in an arrest warrant affidavit. There are numerous witnesses in the case. Police initially filed the warrant and criminal complaint under... C so he stole? He stole like, what, a million goddamn dollars? <clears throat> he stole a million goddamn dollars. <clears throat> Let a jury of his peers determine what the hell happened. at the Right outside of the apartment complex? You know, there's a lot of people that live in that apartment complex. People have ears and eyeballs and surveillance dash cameras and memories people got memories there were numerous witnesses numerous they said they're going to keep both of the cases open in case the witnesses or the victims change their mind they sent a memo to the detective at the santa fe police department and they're hoping to recharge the case. So hopefully all the uh, billions and billions of dollars that we waste on the criminal judicial branch. Hopefully all those billions and billions of dollars will um, we'll get a smidgen, an inkling. 
A skosh of justice. Maybe we'll get a skosh of justice. The DA can proceed with the case. You already had all those witnesses saying whatever. Just say this is what they said at the at the time. You're going to have, what, 15 witnesses, and then all of a sudden, a year later, nobody knows nothing? That means more crimes are happening. Unless they all got paid off and they look happy, then they were intimidated to shut the hell up. He's a drug dealer, right? So what gang is that? Is that uh, Sino Sinolia? The Three Kings? Is that MS-13, Bloods, Crips? Which gang is this? Some new Santa Fe gang. Now there's another article that had come out earlier. I don't know if it had anything new or interesting. Let's look over it real quick. This was by Victoria Traxler, November 1st. It says that he was accused in a fatal shooting and then they added more charges. So 32-year-old... Randall Lopez accused of killing Frank Pete, 50-year-old Frank Pete of Arizona. Arizona killed my friend Rodney Lee Smith. R.I.P. Ronnie Lee Smith. Ronnie Lee Smith had a medical marijuana card. They threw him in jail, but he needed it for cancer. The cancer came back, and then he died right after that. So it's kind of crazy how they'll throw medical marijuana people in jail, but you got these kingpins, Frank Pete. Was he a big time fucking drug dealer? Said he was charged with murder and the death of 50 year old Pete, but the count was dropped in May. Who dropped that? And then he was charged with kidnapping, robbery, being a felon in possession of a firearm. Was this an, a new charge on top of the old charge? Two counts of aggravated battery with a deadly weapon after a man told police Lopez had beaten him and stolen his belongings. According to a criminal complaint filed in Santa Fe County Magistrate Court. Randy. The Wizard. <laughs> Lopez's half-sister, Rayanne Tapia. And then she took the car. Stole $700 from him. Instructed him to walk towards Sonic on 6th Street, but instead he ran to the All Sup store. Police arrested Lopez in March on charges of first degree murder, armed robbery. Witnesses told police that Pete had encountered Lopez outside Las Palomas' apartments to sell drugs to him. Lopez stole Pete's backpack and then shot him twice in the back and once in the neck. In the Wild West, you shoot somebody in the back, that's a murder. That's a murder. I want some justice for this guy. 50 year old, he was just an entrepreneur. But this motherfucker didn't have the goddamn money. So he went the fucking, you know, bitch way out. Randall Lopez. So he... You know, shot dude, stole a million dollars worth of property, turned around and sold it, no, and sold it, no telling how much money he made off of that. Shot dude in the back and once in the neck. There are numerous witnesses in the case, but the state prosecutors dismissed it. With the potential to refile it if the witnesses come back, apparently. So there you go. Randall Lopez. Here's your new mayor, Santa Fe. That's your new mayor right there. Randall Lopez runs Santa Fe. Can't nobody do shit to goddamn Randall. He's Randall fucking Lopez. He'll commit any and all the felonies. And then he'll do it again. And then he'll do it again. Then he'll get out on his own recognizance. Nobody thinks that's fishy. Nobody thinks that's fishy. Our prosecutor could go ahead and file that case.